I'm so excited. I can hear the chatter of the Elijah Company. They're out there. And I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get to meet for the first time in person ever, the one, the only Angela Jennings all the way from South Africa. It's great when you get to meet people you've never met in person before. You've known them for years. They're friends, they're, 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 they're spiritual family. We're gonna go meet her. You ready? Let's do this. say this will be a weekend of sharpening your prophetic edge I will sharpen you I will sharpen your voice I will sharpen your hearing says the Lord I will sharpen your spiritual vision says the Lord I will sharpen your discernment says the Lord so press into my heart for I am the one who can take the wrong things and introduce the right things says the Lord for some of you have endured wrong teachings says the Lord but I am the way the truth and the life says the Lord and you will shake off weights called old you will shake off weights called religion you will shake off weights called wrong teaching you will shake off weights and ties that bind and the Lord says prepare to ascend because you are going higher you are going deeper you are going where you've never been before says the Lord come on somebody somebody get Jesus. Jesus. Sharp. Sharp. Somebody asked me this past week, how come prophets sometimes come off harsh? I don't know if it's harsh. It's just sharp. Amen. So we were really late, and then I had some kind of food poisoning thing going on, so that was not a good fun thing. Yeah, it was not fun at all. And so I'm, I'm like, and then I was supposed to go up at a certain time, but because it's an, it was an African event church, it was, a, it was not a church, it was in a hotel. But if you, if you go with an African host, they, they will tell you that they will put you up at 7, but it will be 9.30. <laughs> because they, they, listen, and I love it, because they worship and they worship and they sing and they dance, they give testimonies. Then they have every, other little ministers, you know, that are come up, and I shouldn't say little, but other younger ministers come up, and they get their 15 minutes to exhort. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, boy, I'm not feeling all that good. Not good at all. And I need to hurry up and get up there so I can get down. And, and, I, and I get up there. <laughs> I'm just, just praying in tongues. <laughs> and it was not a good look. I get up there, and, and I don't like to play with a keyboard player behind me because it distracts me. But this guy was old school, and he was flowing with me. And he, I said, hello, you brought me a minstrel. He was flowing with me. My stomach settled down. There was an anointing. And he was like, and I, I go up, and I said, I feel like T.D. Jakes right now. I submit to you, if we could just understand how to live from right here, we wouldn't have to try to be humble. We would be humble. We wouldn't have to try to prophesy. We'd just be prophesying. We wouldn't have to try to be kind. We'd just be kind when we live from here. And that's part of where I want us to get this weekend is living from here, not from here. I don't want to hear anybody prophesy from here. You know you can prophesy from here? Uh-huh. 
You can prophesy from here. Why? Because much of your mind has been renewed if you've been walking with the Lord for any length of time. Your mind has been renewed somewhat. And you'll prophesy through what you know instead of what he said. And that's a dangerous thing. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a prophetic exercise right now. I'm gonna do, I, we did this last time. Y'all said, but we haven't been equipped yet. And I said, so what? And I'm saying, so what? We're going to do a prophetic exercise ahora mismo, right now. This is one of those things where your flesh may not like it, but your spirit loves it. The Lord said to me to push you out of your comfort zones. That's the only way you grow. Is the door locked? Here's the exercise. Find somebody that you don't know or don't know well. In other words, don't prophesy to your spouse and prophesy what the Lord is going to do for them this weekend. Ooh. You need to birth in us, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Woo! Have your way. Woo! Yanamosete. Yeah. Yes. The healer is here. The healer is here. Let the river flow. Let it flow. Let the river flow. Let it flow. Let the river flow. Through Davy. Through Fort Lauderdale this city let the river flow 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 through city hall through downtown let the river flow let it flow let the river flow let it flow let the river flow let it flow through hollywood through weston let the river flow let it flow, let the river flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Yeah. 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 Jesus, if you are affected by Hurricane Ian, make room for some people that have that could come up here really quickly. If you are affected by Hurricane Ian. your city was hit if you've been that's you right anybody else I know some people were trying to trying to get here but because the hurricane hit they weren't able to come anybody else can you move over like a little bit there you go you know the spot <laughs> Are you friends? Your friends now, where are you from? Estero, that's right. And Bonita, you, you're three miles apart. Jesus. How many know hurricanes are from the devil? I hate that they call it an act of God. It's not an act of God. Hurricanes come off the coast of Africa, it's witchcraft. Hmm. But the Lord showed me something. He wants me to prophesy it over you. And the Lord would say to you, I have called you to be part of the solution. For I am putting an apostolic grace upon you, says the Lord, not just to build, but to rebuild. And the Lord says, I am going to give you favor with people who have resources to help you rebuild your cities. The Lord says, as you knock and seek and ask, you will find that favor comes upon you, says the Lord, and people will be willing to give you what you need to succeed in the rebuilding, says the Lord, for I have not left your cities 
my spirit still broods there, still hovers there, says the Lord. For I did not bring this wicked work. I did not bring this evil deed. But I will build it back again. I will restore. I will rebuild. I will replant, says the Lord. And I have called you to stand in the gap. Even for new churches to rise up in this region, says the Lord. That will have an apostolic grace that can roll up their sleeves and rebuild with you. So, Father, I thank you as I lay my hands upon them. Whatever apostolic grace is upon my life, God, I'm asking you to put it upon them. I'm asking you, Lord, for the favor in Jesus' name. Jesus. 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 The devil is a liar. We can ask the Holy Spirit to open our eyes. Sometimes we have not because we ask not. Sometimes we are ignorant to our spiritual inheritance. Sometimes we don't know what's possible. And we think that the seer anointing is just for a few people. It's for James Gall or it's for John Paul Jackson or Bob Jones or Kim Clement. But it's not. It's for all of us. God wants to restore all of our spiritual senses, including our spiritual eyesight. Amen. I want to build your faith because when we do this impartation, I'm telling you the truth. Something's going to shift. Something's going to break. Something's going to change. Something's going to move. Something's going to be deposited in your spirit. Something is going to happen that's never happened before. And that is why we had to repeat. Y'all still mad at me? You're glad now, aren't you? Yeah. Some of you, because most everybody here is new. So y'all was freaking out. And it's the same ones that read, yes, I'm the, earlier, who's new? Me. And then uh, all the ones that were doing this were like. You happy now, you're going to be happier tonight and happier tomorrow and happier tomorrow night and happier Katanaboshe Saturday night because them demons is coming out. Some of y'all, when you go home, you go way less. Why? Because them demons were, were heavy. <laughs> now, I'm not going to prophesy over you. I'm going to say, receive the seer anointing. That's all I'm going to do. You'll receive it. Let it be unto you according to your faith. Are we ready? All right. We're going to do this quickly.
Above all the earth 